Alright guys, welcome back to the video and today we have with me here the TP-Link range extender so this is the uh, AC1200 Wi-Fi range extender so we're gonna go ahead and unbox this guy and take a closer look and I'll be doing a comparison with it versus without it and with it as well in terms of speed and also the range so yeah, let's go ahead and unbox this guy and get started Alright guys, and welcome to the unboxing part of the video. So here we have the TP-Link range extender. So this one I got it uh, actually a pretty good price. It was already low, already on this, it's on discount. So I decided to give it a purchase. And be the reason why I'm buying this for my room because uh, the signal coverage over here on my room is very inconsistent. Sometimes I don't get any signal, sometimes it does come in. So it's very unstable. Uh, even though my router is just at the living room, but it looks like my room is a dead zone So yeah, this one, one thing good about this one is it has dual band support, which is why I need this one It has the both 2.4 and 5 GHz band And we have also, uh, how to say, up to 1.2 uh, gigabits It says, but actually if you check it out over here uh, Where's this speed? Oh, it's here the speed over here it says 300 Mbps plus 167 which is equivalent to 1.2 giga, gigabits per second so basically this means that you're gonna get 300 megabits per second in 2.5 gigabits band and 867 megabits on the 5 gigabits band which is enough for my internet because my internet speed is only uh, 100 megabits so let's go ahead and unbox this uh, uh, Wi-Fi wi repeater here and take a look closely so I'm gonna cut it. So yes, uh, there is another variant of this uh, model. That's the AC750. Um, that one is a cheaper one, but just a bit cheaper. But does everything else is the same? It's just the speed is slower on the five gigahertz band. So on this one, you're getting a higher speed. Right, wrappers out of the way. So let's take a look closely at the packaging. So it does say we have an uh, installation guide and the extender itself. We have a couple of features here. Intelligent signal indicator, light multi-language, dual band backup, access control, easy setup, high speed mode it says. So this will give you an idea of what you can do with the extender looks like. So let's say you're in a house, your router is here and you have a room like, like my room as a dead zone. So you can put this somewhere where it, it, it can reach the signal of the router and it will amplify the signal. So you can extend it to a better coverage area. Which is fantastic and you also can download the uh, TP link theater app in the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store for easy setup if you want and here are more details about the uh, product itself and let's get unboxing so let's take it out and here we go oh we have the yep, that's it inside quick installation guide so pretty nice stuff open it gives you a brief idea how to power on and uh, let's just open it up so if you are really new into this you can take a look at it and you'll give you an explanation on everything and it will also give you uh, uh, the methods to set up the extender so you can use the apps I said or you can use the web browser and here's the FAQs if you want to uh, answer any of your questions is in this book so yes all done and here looks like we have some kind of uh, general public notice don't need that and finally the product itself so it comes in this plastic so this is the UK 3-pin uh, plug version that I got here uh, it, it depends where you buy this if you are in different regions you might get a different one so yep here is the product pretty nice we have two antennas here looks like and We've got the indicators for the power, the signal. I think that's to indicate whether you can detect the your router signal. And we have the 2.5 gears band light and the 5 gears band light and the WPS button for easy setup for your Wi-Fi. And yes, so that's pretty much it for the device. And oh yeah, we have a LAN uh, Ethernet port here if you really want to connect it. But I'm not gonna use this. I'm just gonna use it wirelessly. And here's a reset button. It seems if you want to reset everything to default settings. You can just press this button, should be good to go. So yeah guys, uh, that's the unboxing for the TP link. So let me go ahead and set this up in my room and see the speed comparisons. 
and also see whether it's stable and in terms of uh, how to say speed whether it's worth buying this over uh, just a normal rock a better router instead so you guys i'm gonna uh, test this out and i'll be right back once i've done my testing so see you guys soon all right guys uh, welcome back to the second part of the video where i'll be installing the tp link and uh, wi-fi extender so i've already plugged into the wall socket so now it's uh, powered up so i'm gonna follow the second method which is setting setting up via a web browser because i know most of you guys will be doing this so i decided to go with this way instead uh, so yep i'm already uh, uh, turned on so just go to the your wi-fi and just search for your tp link extender in my case this is the default name so by default it's disconnected so go ahead and connect to it and it should say let's give you a moment here you say connected uh, it says no internet that's fine so let's just move on so once connected then uh, I'm gonna enter the web browser here so you're gonna go to this uh, 192.168.0.254 looks like it's the default IP of the uh, adapter Wi-Fi adap wi repeater I mean so it says uh, create, a log create a password so I'm gonna create a password and be right back Alright, I've created a password, so I'm inside the now I'm inside the uh, configuration here. So you can see a bunch of uh, SSIDs here. So these are mine, which are 2.4 gigs. I have a couple of networks. So it's asking me I want to extend if uh, if I want. Mm, so let's say I click on this. I have to give a password for it to extend. Uh, for my case, uh, I'm not going to extend. Uh, 2.4 gigahertz band because the 2.4 gigahertz band in my room is pretty good from the router it's the main router itself so i'm just going to extend the 5 gigahertz band so i'm just going to go ahead and skip and yes yeah, you can see this is my 5 gigahertz band you can see the signal is not that strong it, by default it's sometimes 3 sometimes it's 1 or sometimes it's no signal at all so yeah i'm going to just type the password here and we're going to extend this one Alright, so once you key in your password, you'll see they have uh, given you the option if you want to extend the, uh, the I mean the, the naming of the option. So I'm not for this one. I think we're not gonna be using this. So for this one, we're just gonna add the ext which they given us, which is fine, and the password the same. So yeah, next. And now it's rebooting. Let's just wait and see what happens next. Alright, so it's done. Now it says uh, relocate uh, if your extender works on your Wi-Fi coverage. Plug your extender between uh, about halfway between your router and Wi-Fi dead zone. So location. Okay, so you can read this if you want. So it's done. And yes, so I just say I have connected and just finish. And done. So basically that's it. And you can see now, uh, just look for the Wi-Fi this one this is the extended one let me just connect to it right it says connected so let me just do a quick test here see whether it's truly working yeah it is working I mean getting better speeds than before so seems to be working quite good actually so yeah guys uh, that's how you set up the TP-Link uh, Wi-Fi adapter pretty easy but uh, let me just go and check the indicator lights to see what is the color of the uh, of the uh, Wi-Fi adapter because uh, um, the speed I'm, get, I'm supposed to get is 100 megabits but turns out I'm not getting the full speed but I'm gonna check the po position of the router I'll be right back right guys so I've relocated the Wi-Fi router uh, Wi-Fi repeater to another location so now if we do a speed test you'll see that I'm going I'm getting the full speed 
so I'm gonna hit go so currently connected to the Wi-Fi extender you see I'm getting the 100 megabits download which is expected which is nice oh it's even going faster it's 100 708 and the upload speed also should be the same which is expected so yes this is the speed that I'm supposed to get from my internet service provider which is correct getting way above the limit but as you can see the Wi-Fi extender works flawlessly in my room now signal is always stable no disconnection so far so really happy so far overall with what uh, with the purchase that I made and yeah so that's basically it and how you set up and get everything running pretty easy and yeah so this is the speed I'm consistently, consistently getting which is good uh, I'll show you a comparison uh, versus the uh, speed that I'm, that I'm getting without the Wi-Fi extender I'm gonna show you guys another section another uh, screenshot of that or maybe a video on it show you the speed other than that that's pretty much it so yeah guys uh, let's, let's show you guys the comparison between the uh, between the Wi-Fi adapter Wi-Fi repeater and the one without the Wi-Fi repeater so let's take a look at the speed difference Alright guys, so that wraps up the video on the TP-Link AC1200 Wi-Fi Mesh Extender, also known as the RE305. So I've already installed it on my uh, in my room, and it's working fine now. I just saw the results, uh, the comparison results between the one without this. You can see the speed difference is drastic, and with this one now my uh, my room area has good coverage of the 5 gigahertz band, which is what I wanted. And yep. Playing games and uh, streaming, watching videos, everything is smooth so far. Haven't had any, any issues with the connection. And it's very seamless setup, so very happy with this uh, purchase. So yeah guys, that's all for this uh, unboxing, installation and uh, comparison video. Hopefully this video helped you. And yeah, I forgot to mention that this has 3 year warranty, so pretty nice. That's for this video, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos like this one. Peace.